I always liked taking photos and especially of like cars and things like that. But when I was probably like a junior in high school, I took a really cool digital photography class with a really cool teacher. And that's when I kind of actually started pursuing it a bit, like 12 years. Um, I played in bands in high school, so I definitely shot some shows, some local shows, and actually a few friends' bands. Shot a lot of stuff for my high school too. My photo teacher was the yearbook teacher as well. So he'd send me out and do like prom and random stuff like that. I always liked shooting cars. So that's kind of where I started kind of getting into it. And then as I got into motorcycles, then that's when I started shooting bikes as well. So far, my full daily driver photo setup has been my Canon 5D Mark III, and I have a Sigma Art 35mm lens that um, I use kind of almost all the time. It's the nicest lens I have, so I tend to favorite it. I also have a, a Canon 50mm that I like using. The 35 is a little wider, so it makes it a little easier sometimes, especially shooting bike stuff if we're riding or something like that. I also have kind of old crop sensor zoom lens that I use sometimes but it's not the nicest. One of my favorites was um, I shot a friend Wesley's generator shovel. He had a cool, really cool 69 generator shovel that I shot and the photos went into dice. And it was a cool, really cool Virginia fall leavey day. And the photos turned out really, really sweet. And the bike is insane. He, it's like a really cool garage built chopper with an Indian girder. He did all the paint and molding and everything himself. It turned out really sick. One of the photographers that actually got me pretty into motorcycles and motorcycle photography was my buddy Scott Topher. Kind of saw all of his work before I even knew him and it got me really into bikes and shooting them. He does a lot of really cool videos. When I worked at Iron Resin, I luckily got to meet him. Now he's one of my good buddies, so kind of cool. Done a few projects with him now. He's a big inspiration. Ooh, I really like um, really like Dean Tooch Landry's photos too. They're insane. All the old, old large format stuff is so cool. I'm on the spot right now, so I can't think of anybody else. I, for the most part, wing it. There's definitely like, I have a lot of shots I always get first, like a good A side shot, front, back, other side. But I definitely have, as I've been looking at the bike throughout the past couple weeks, there've been shots that I've seen that I wanna get, like certain parts that I wanna emphasize and things like that. But I definitely do wing it a lot. <laughs> kind of see the shots as I'm going. Also not sure if this is something that other photographers do, but I use my live view a lot, a ton. No, <laughs> I don't know. I'm always trying to, I'm always kind of trying to do something a little different, I guess. I feel like I don't usually try to like emulate anybody else, but sometimes I do see really cool shots. I'm like, damn, I wonder how they got that. Like, how do I, how do I try to replicate that or get something similar, similar effect? Uh, sunset for sure, for sure. Sunrise would be nice, but it's a little too early. <laughs> little lens swap. Nothing planned. I would like to do a book at some point. I've always thought it'd be really cool to do a book of film photos of bikes I've shot on the East Coast. So one day, but there's a lot of really cool bikes out here that people haven't really seen. Totally. I, I love when I get a photo and the, the sun's just hitting it in the right spot or like a little accidental photo that came out way cooler than I thought it would be. It's always sick. Always a good, good feeling. Especially when you sit there and take like a hundred photos and you're like, yeah, hopefully one of these is good. 
And then you get one, you're like, yeah, that one, that one's cool. That's a good feeling. I'm done.